Yo, what's up everybody? Dan Greer, Eclipse DOT, sitting here parked, just so y'all are aware, getting ready to start a CDL test pretty soon. Um, just uh, coming at you today to chat a little bit about some of the things that are going on, the things that are changing. Figured I'd hit you guys up real quick and uh, <clears throat> just kind of go over a few things just so you guys are aware. So one of the things I really want to talk about is like the way that the feds and each individual state are cracking down on the air brake inspection for CDL testing. So depending on the inspector you get and depending on how you're tested and depending on what state you're in, okay, so each state varies slightly, that you've got to do the air brake inspection exactly as though it's listed in the CDL handbook. So get your state CDL handbook, go through that air brake inspection, do it A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? Really there's four parts, four parts to the air brake inspection that are very crucial and it's crucial you do them in a specific order, okay? So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta do the compressor cutout. You gotta allow, let's start the engine, okay? If the truck uh, already has full brake pressure, then you just go chink, 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 plus brake, press the brakes a couple times, bleed it down, okay, till the compressor kicks on. Allow it then to build back up to 120 PSI. Note, okay, the governor cut out at 120 PSI. This is a good test, okay? After that, shut the truck off, turn the key back on so the gauges work, release the brakes, push them in, okay? And then hold your foot on the pedal firmly for one minute. Time that bad boy. Get your phone out, set a timer on for 65 seconds, okay? There's gonna be some people out there, they're like, oh, you only went 59 seconds. And, and that's that's what they're after. Like, it's okay to be that strict. There's not a problem with that at all, okay? That's what they're after is you're doing it for a full 60 seconds, right? And I guarantee that there are some testers out there they are gonna be getting their timer on working with you. And because you started your timer a second before they did, they could fail you for it. That's why I say go to 65 seconds, okay? So. Really, it's it's sixty it's sixty seconds, but set your timer for sixty five just to be safe. You can always go more, but you can't go less. Okay, so now what you're looking for is a class B vehicle. You're looking for no more than three psi loss in a class V vehicle. B B is in Bravo. A class B is straight truck within sixty seconds. For a class A, you're looking for no more than four psi loss. So you gotta have those numbers right. Okay, so what it's gonna be is it's gonna be like okay, all right. I'm now gonna conduct the system leaks check. My truck is off, my key is on, my brakes are released. I'm gonna hold my foot on the pedal for one full minute and I'm gonna make sure I do not lose more than four PSI because this is a class A vehicle. I will begin my test now. Press your foot on the brake, hold the pedal. Push the button, start your timer for 65 seconds. Wait, we're waiting. We're not actually waiting for 65 seconds today. But you gotta wait in the test, okay? So, get 65 seconds, boom. I have lost zero PSI. This is a good test. If you lose three PSI, be like, dude, I lost three PSI. This is still a good test. If you lost six PSI, be like, dude, I lost six PSI. We can't drive this truck today. Then call somebody to come fix the air leak or get out and figure out where it is, okay? All right, now, <laughs> probably don't get out and fix where it is. Just make sure you bring a truck that's ready to test whatever you test, okay? Next thing you're gonna do, is you're gonna bleed the brakes down till the low air alarm comes on. My low air alarm, my low air alarm comes on, okay? Now, the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna tell the tester, you're gonna tell the instructor, I will now perform a low air alarm check. I am going to bleed my brakes down to 60 PSI till the low air alarm makes an audible sound and I can see it visually. If the truck doesn't have an audible sound on it, then you literally just go, okay, I'm gonna do this until this point. Okay, I'm gonna bleed my brakes down. You hit 60 PSI, okay. My low air alarm came on at 60 PSI. This is a good test. If it comes on at 55, say it come on at 55, whatever. Just say where it comes on, okay? All right, the last part of this test is crucial as well. Now I will check. Now you're gonna check for your valves to set, okay? Tell the test, and I'm telling you, I'm being exaggerated because there's some idiots that want you to be this exaggerated when you talk to them. They're not humans. They're not humans, they're fucking robots. Excuse my language. They're robots that if you don't do it exactly the way they want you to do it, exactly the way with the exact verbiage that's in the book, they're gonna fail you, okay? I say this out of the goodness of my heart. Okay, the last test I'm going to perform 
is the is the valve set. I am going to check my tractor protection valve by bleeding my brake down to 20 to 40 psi, and the valve should set. I will conduct this test now. Both valves set. My valves have set. My psi is approximately 22 psi. This is a good test. I have conducted and completed the air brake portion, the air brake check portion of the test. That's it. That's what you do. Okay? Don't get into doing the tug test in between those. Don't do the service brake in them. Start with that crap first on the new modernized test and do it exactly that way. It's important. It's important. Do it exactly that way with that exact verbiage. Don't forget to say this is a good test. Don't forget to note when they go off right? All that stuff is important, okay? And then after that, you can do your tug test, stuff like that. But if you don't have full air to conduct the system leaks, there are some people that will fail you. If you try to do a tug test with your governor up at 100, without your governor being up at 120 PSI, they will fail you. If you try to do a service brake check without your governor being up at 120 PSI, your air pressure being up to governor cutout, they will fail you, okay? AMVA, A-A-M-V-A, says you got to follow these standards to do these four parts. That's an automatic failure if you don't do those. Boom. That's simple. That's simple. Do the four parts. Governor cutout, system leaks, low air alarm, valve set. Build the air back up to governor cutout one more time, and then do everything else. Then continue on through your inspection. That's the first thing you do in modernized test. All right, hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys get it. There's a lot of idiots out there in the world. And there's a lot of people who are power hungry who are in a tester situation. And uh, we can't fix that. Nothing we can do to change that. Not everybody's human. Some people are inhuman. Some people don't have a clue how to actually be a human. So make sure you do that step exactly right because that will fail you every single time. All right. Hope you all have a good day. Chat with you later.